What's going guys? It's Jack here, back with another Airline Empires uh, episode today for you today. This is episode 2 of season 2. And yeah, so I'll get into our stats right away. We are sec second, uh, 206th place. We have two idle airplanes, a DRP is a lot bigger than my four. <laughs> and our uh, cash is 3.9 mil. Alright, so you, I'll explain this, but let's get straight into the world. Now. This is my second attempt of recording this. So you missed me buying 20 or leasing 20 uh, L1649s or Lockheed Starliners. Uh, yeah, and I configured them. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, the DC 7 now has a different layout. As you can see here, it's got the uh, uh, business class, the, the Starliner configured as first class as well, because this guy's going to be going to Europe and stuff. But as you can see, I've expanded my fleet a bit. I've got some DC-6s as well, flying this route, which I've also expanded my routes from uh, Delhi to Mumbai or yeah, Mumbai to Delhi, whatever. I've also gone to uh, Beijing and yeah, Shanghai was regular. I've also gone to Bangkok. So yeah, uh, if we go to our routes, I'll show you. So I've done a bit of a different strategy. Instead of opening one route, filling it up, opening the next one, I've kind of spread out my planes through the route, so which everyone has the least profit. I'm going to use. The airplane only except for Delhi because that's for the DC-6 and so I use all my DC-6 in there. Alright, as you can see, uh, Bomb to Hong Kong uh, has the least. So yeah, we'll, we'll go there. Um, and yeah, so it's been going well. It's been uh, over a year since I recorded last thing. Well, not, <laughs> not a year in real life, obviously. Um, year in the game, so yeah. It's full now, this world. So you can, you might want to wait try and wait if you want to play with me on this world but yeah it's full kind of unfortunate because you know um some guys some of you guys won't want to play with me because you know these episodes are going to be way late since I'm, I'm recording them on holiday as you can see uh the background <laughs> it's not normal all right so we're gonna add a flight top dish so that's what it'll basically do with all my dc 7s out of order and with my dc 6 i've been doing the same thing all right just on one route which is the delhi route since they have shorter range and a bit smaller. All right, now we have 495 down, and we got a uh, Dell here. So as I said, my strategy is lease as much airplanes as possible, and don't care about your value until like 10, 20 years into the game. 20 years, mostly in this case, because this is gonna last 70 years. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, I'm dominating this market here, and I just realized you really capped the. <laughs> All right, time to open a new route. Uh, in uh, India, so yeah, that's what I'm using my DC 6s for is domestic flight. Let's search up most of them are within 1000. Actually, we do 1500. We're we'll finding India from a uh, bomb of Delhi, we're not talking about. And yeah, let's get into this. As I said, yeah, this is my second attempt or third attempt if you count me failing it right at the beginning, but whatever. Okay, India. So obviously, the next one would be. Yeah, Kutna, Kutchi, when I say Chennai. Uh, wait, Bangalore's above Chennai in this day. <laughs> 1955. Alright, let's go to Bangal uh, Bangalore then. Research. Alright. So we're gonna add these flights, and as you can see, the star. Yes, we do have competition already. This guy here is probably gonna be our main competitor. I've competed with this guy before, he does recognize me. His strategy is a bit different. His is used multiple air. Well, uh, one airplane on multiple routes, as you can see. <laughs> um, but the problem about that is you have to lease a lot of gates, which is kind of expensive. So that's why I don't choose to do that strategy. And yeah, I don't think, I don't know. But yeah, I've competed with this guy before. This is the guy I claimed who was a hacker. I'm going to see if it's like that, this series. Because he had like 2 billion in the first like in-game month he was playing. I'm not sure if it was him. Or it was another competitor. I'm not sure that. All right, so let's use a DC six here. As you can see, 33. Like always, a, yeah, we need at least small gates. Always a close range flights. Use I use tend to use small airplanes, like pretty much basic logic. And airplanes. Uh, I mean, and yeah, they use a lot more slots. That's the only thing I don't like about. It. That's why I sometimes I use 8 through 80s when they come out. But as you can see, it's only 1956. Speaking of. Uh, the late days. It's not gonna be in not the jet age for long, as I'm about to show you. Uh, 
to go to home the 707 120 and a caravel the first caravel is available for uh, pre-order so yeah the jet H is coming uh, okay um, yeah so I'm gonna show you my competition I'm not gonna order the jets just yet until it's like a month or two until they release because otherwise I'm just wasting my money and waiting you know no one likes waiting uh, this is being annoying what's going on Good. Yeah, sorry, that's just my Wi-Fi hotel. As you could, yeah, as I said before, I am in a hotel because I'm on holiday. Recording this. All right, this yeah, work now. Let's go to uh, yeah, Quest Water Fight. Yeah, that's where I am. It's in Hobart. I'm on a holiday. In real, <laughs> if you're in Hobart. All right. Uh, so let's go to India. As you can see, uh, I have these competitors now. Thing is, oh my god, these guys have way more value than me. I'm so scared. I mean, <laughs> so it's this guy. Uh, these guys don't have as much planes as me, especially uh, this this guy that he sells it later. Yeah, these guys don't have much planes. That means they're just saving their money and keeping it there. What I'm doing is I'm leasing planes, which is lowers your valuation because you don't own the planes. You're leasing them. But you have more planes, which you can make more money with. So until you get to that point where you can just buy planes every day, it's better to lease them uh, at the beginning and pretty much all you can afford because I could only afford like one airplane if I bought it now. As you can see, as I said, I've got a growing fleet. The one thing I have forgot to do and I've been meaning to do for a long time is configure the in-flight services for business class because as we just said before, I've got a new business class. Alright, so basically business class, I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time, just four instead of three. Yeah, Ten dollars more uh, per meal. Gives a nice rating and also gets you a bit of money. Yeah, who doesn't like money? I mean, you need it. Uh, let's do four is here, and I'm always gonna do my one free option here, which costs me 75 cents, which I can easily profit off these other things. Okay, it's so 33 bucks here, and here. Yeah, it's very repetitive doing this. It's probably the most boring thing. I don't know why I'm recording this. <laughs> Alright, or well, 44. Alright. And 43, 43, 47. Uh, yep. So guys, by the way, I'm gonna when I get back home, I wanna, I'm gonna start cranking up my videos a bit, even though I am going back to school, at least two a week. Yeah, I'm not that freaking. I'm not like a proper YouTuber, as you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start doing them a little bit more frequently. I'm gonna be doing at least two a week, hopefully. I don't know. This is definitely what's working. Also, Minecraft is going to be... By the way, I'm getting a job soon, and I'm going to be saving up for a good computer. Maybe custom build, maybe it's going to be an alien one. I don't know yet, but I'm going to get a computer that I can play other games on. Better games, better quality content for you guys, so I hope you enjoy that. It'll be in about at least uh, six months before that happens. So don't, don't get too excited. Alright, so uh, for this one, we're going to just do everything free because, you know... Actually, no, the, uh, what is it, the onboard souvenir is going to cost, charge them 50 bucks, the rest is going to be for free, alright, let's see, so we have, food ready, I mean, it's, it's alright, it's going to be, uh, buzzers in there, uh, 1950s, sorry, to 1970s, so hopefully we, after 1970s, we will uh, upgrade all of our things, and we'll do first class when that comes out. Yet, and mm -hmm. okay, there we go. Now, looking at all the new aircraft, the only new ones that have come has the Caraval and the yeah, the Lockheed L one L one eighty eight A. They these guys are going to come, but you know I don't really want them. They're a bit too small. They cost uh, oh, the pricing is good. No, these are good, these are good, like, DC-6 alternatives. Uh, yeah, the range isn't that good, that's why I don't like them. And they only produced in 1961, but I mean, there's an LA, uh, L188C, uh, I think that's a, got a bit more, uh, range. <laughs> Alright, and as you can see, the Convair 440 is, uh, I wanna, I wanna get this guy, though. It's the biggest one yet that I can probably afford, because the 707, I might get... But I'm waiting for the 320 since it's 189. It's got all different specs and stuff. Now I'm not getting a Stratocruiser because it's way overpriced. 
and the Caval, you don't make profit off that. I've had experience with this game, so you might want to listen to me. Um, Constellation is good at the beginning because it's, I mean, it's expensive, but you can go long range. I mean, this is this game wasn't all just about seriousness. You also have a bit, have to have a little bit of fun. But as you can see, I got four roots. This will probably be expand or five now. <laughs> this will probably be expanded a lot in the future. Probably our next episode will have like ten. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna keep ordering airplanes and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go to our finance. I want to see what we've been getting. So the last time I checked this, we've been getting negatives. <laughs> yes, last month. I mean, like January, I mean December last year. We made 14 million, now we made 18. So that means we're making more. Now, the reason this is because I bought a VC airplanes. So, you know, that's gonna happen. But I mean, we still got a whole, how much? Uh, 18 days to make money, so I'm not too upset. Gate leasing, how much does it cost us? 5 million. That's why I said, leasing a lot of gates, even if they're cheap airports, they still probably add up more to this. It's not a good idea I'm making, like, sharing half an airplane for a week. What I'd do is I'd put like four airplanes in one route, get as much as you can out of the gates. Especially long range, try that. Alright, uh, so DC Chevrons, as you can see, the maintenance cost is, uh, 3, uh, 3.4, right here, I mean, 3.2, sorry, my math, uh, things here. And bonds, I don't tend to do bonds. Maybe these guys do and they become successful, but I've never been successful with bonds. And the reason I don't like to do them, See credit rating AA. These guys here, their fleet is going to be limited soon to like, um, like, this is going to be a limit because their thing is not going to be uh, high enough. Especially this guy. But as you can see, Pink Airline is taking top spot, no problem. Before there's like a hundred million away. But what we want to do uh, this season is, of course, get third at least. We want to get to the top, but I mean, is that possible? I don't know. We've got 70 years to do it. Hopefully we can. So, guys, that's going to be the end of uh, episode 2 of uh, season 2 of Alien Empires. Please don't forget to uh, slap that like button down below if you like this video. And if you want to see all my future episodes of uh, Alien Empires and you want to see my Minecraft videos, then you can go and subscribe to my channel. That would be nice. And yeah, if you if your friends like this kind of stuff, you can share the video with them. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And bye bye.